three people are dead after a woman steals a deputy's cruiser in Marion County. She then speeds away and crashes into a pickup. It happened this afternoon right along Highway 40 near the Ocala National Forest. And a part of that road is now back open. It was blocked off for hours today during this investigation. Fox 35's Manny Martinez is live in Marion County tonight. So Manny, this whole situation escalated very quickly. It did. That's because the sheriff's office says it started as a call for a suspicious incident. And when the deputy got out of his car, a witness tells us the woman sped off with it just seconds later before it all ended in a vicious crash. What's left of this mangled patrol car shows the sheer force of the crash. Both of these vehicles, especially the deputy's vehicle, um, is totally destroyed. Troopers say a 33-year-old woman led Marion County deputies on a high-speed chase. It ended when she slammed into a pickup, killing herself and two others in the truck. A third person in the pickup is in critical condition. It's a very, very large scene. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, bits and pieces to, to uh, measure, to photograph, uh, to document. The woman stole the car from this shopping center parking lot several miles down the road. A man who didn't want to be identified watched it all happen. I started screaming and told my boss, it was, hey, this woman, this woman is stealing the sheriff's car, sheriff's car. Then he come walking around the back, and she, when she opened the door and jumped in, then he went running around the other side, and obviously she hit the lock button quick enough, and then she just took off. The Marion County Sheriff's Office didn't comment on any anti-theft measures, but did say deputies would typically chase after someone in a stolen car. Absolutely crazy. It's just, I just, I don't know. It's just, it's amazing when you see something like that happen. It's just, you never think, especially out here in the forest, you know, that stuff just don't happen. Troopers say it'll be a lengthy investigation. They'll be going over surveillance videos, looking for potential dash cam video from that patrol car, witness interviews, and they've also impounded both cars. The sheriff's office told me today we may get new information released about all of this tomorrow. Live for now in Marion County, Manny Martinez, Fox 35 News. Thanks, Manny.